this wonderful meet I had was tarnished by this event and it was just like a roller coaster of emotions. Montreal swimmer Mary Sophie Harvey says she was drugged on the final day of the FINA World Aquatics Championships in Hungary on June 25th. She shared on Instagram that she suffered a sprained rib and a concussion after attending a party where the drugging happened. She had just earned a bronze medal in the women's 4x200 meter freestyle relay. It was actually my first like big international medal that I got there. And I just remember like opening the box back home and I didn't feel like it belonged to me. I didn't feel like the body I was in belonged to me. There's a four to six hour window where she has no recollection of what happened, just that she woke up with the Canadian team manager and doctor by her bedside. And I kept trying to remember things, but I couldn't and I still can't. Um, I think it's just like the scary parts are the what ifs because it's unknown for me. From what she does remember, she says she knew something wasn't right. Even though I was telling people, some of them were like, you probably just drank too much. Like maybe next time you'll think about this and like you'll be more careful. And I was in control the whole time until I can't tell anything like I can't recall anything and I felt shame because I started to believe what everyone was saying. She posted photos of the bruises left on her body. The next morning I went to training and I kind of like broke down a little bit and I was really scared because seeing the bruises made me feel like maybe something happened and I did and I didn't know. I called the line that is supposed to like help victim in these type of situation. And that's when I got like struck by the lack of resources we have. Now she's trying to raise awareness. In my head before that, I was thinking, oh, it can't happen to me. It doesn't happen that often. And I'm with friends, so I'm safe. But Sadly, it does happen a lot. Swimming Canada says an independent investigation was launched to figure out what happened. I was not the only swimmer, and I think it's something we need to shed lights on. Harvey says she's taking it day by day and coping through sharing her story. I think it helped people, and it also helped me see that uh, we're not alone in this, and it doesn't define us. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.